I was very interested in space from a, from a very early age. I mean, the idea of looking up to the sky and uh, not really knowing what's up there always uh, piqued my curiosity. In a few years' time, a robot like this is going to be going to the planet Mars, over 56 million kilometres away, to explore the planet under some of the harshest environmental conditions known to mankind. Um, I was also very interested in engineering and, and how things work, how things um, get put together. Um, and uh, space, and with its you know, I interesting technology, was a natural fit with that. Well, I realised to do an engineering course that I needed to uh, brush up my maths and my physics skills. So I worked on those and managed to get into an engineering course at Cambridge University. Here we're developing a prototype Mars rover. We're using some of the most cutting-edge technology in the fields of electronics, mechanisms and software from around Europe. Well, one of the good things about coming to Astrium as a graduate is they have a graduate development program here which gives you a chance to move around different projects and experience different types of engineering. I was very lucky during my graduate program because I got a chance to work in very diverse areas. I worked on Skynet 5 which is a military telecommunications satellite which they're now using to you know, communicate with troops off in Afghanistan for example. And then I started working on the ExoMars rover. Well, the ExoMars rover is, is a project which is very close to my heart and one I'm lucky enough to be working on now. Um, I, I had a role in the graduate program and I managed to uh, convince them to let me stay on and keep working on it. This robot has all of the right tools to perform the tough job of exploring the planet's surface. It has a pair of cameras at the top of the mast and at the bottom of the mast. The, the top cameras take images of the surrounding area so you can build up a map of where you need to go. The bottom cameras enable you to know where you are on that map so you can avoid big obstacles like rocks or craters. The rover has a very advanced locomotion system, including these flexible wheels here, which enable you to climb over very steep obstacles like rocks. Um, and the entire rover, in fact, can climb up very challenging sandy surfaces by moving each wheel forward one at a time, um, a bit like sort of clawing your way up a surface. I was working in the early stage of the project when we had a, a prototype and we were testing out the sorts of technology we needed to be able to design a rover to go and explore Mars. It was the perfect match, I guess, you know, I was tinkering around in the lab and uh, experimenting on this, this actual rover prototype and I had quite a lot of control over what I was doing, so it was really good fun. At the heart of the rover is its brain, the computer, which gathers information from all the sensors and the cameras, processes it and uses that information to navigate across the planet's surface. It was four years since I first started the project and since then I, I, I've moved on into a systems engineering role. Um, and this is a really interesting role because it involves sitting above the, the sort of detailed disciplines of the project like the electronics and the software and the mechanical design and making sure they all fit together and the design works as a whole. I still think I'm lucky every day. I mean, uh, working on a robot to go and explore another planet, it doesn't get much better than that.